You're going to be looking at the brain quite a lot in some of these videos throughout this particular unit right here. So here's a little preview of what the brain is actually going to look like. You should be able to identify the different parts of the brain. There's about six or seven that you need to know and be able to outline their functions as well, which we'll talk about later. But this little video is just to give you a quick idea of what the brain actually looks like and how it actually develops and how it relates to neurulation. So you can actually get images of the brain using CAT scans like this to help to detect health problems as well too. You should also know that when you draw out a diagram, actually you don't have to actually draw this, but when you actually identify a diagram of the nervous system, you should be able to see that there's the brain, you have the spinal cord, those make up the central nervous system, and then these nerves that are running around the outside here, stretching out from the spinal cord, are part of the peripheral nervous system. Periphery means around the sides. You've heard of your peripheral vision, what you can see from the sides of your eyes when you're actually looking forward, what you try to gather in terms of information from around you. So the peripheral nervous system contains the nerves and different types of sensory receptors, which will also be listed in a subsequent unit on the different types of stimuli that can signal your system and help your system understand more about the environment around you. Then, of course, the central nervous system just consists of the brain and the spinal cord. You should understand that. This develops from the neural tube. So here you have an image of neurulation towards its final stages. And you can see that this groove right here is going to close up. Here is the anterior part. Remember the words anterior, posterior, dorsal, and ventral. The brain actually develops from the anterior part of the neural tube. And the rest of the neural tube down here is going to turn into the rest of the spinal cord with a small neural canal in the middle.